guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. I'm in New Jersey and this video will show you exactly how to install peel and stick tile. So if you're interested in a DIY of peel and stick tile for your backsplash, then by all means stick around. Okay guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. New hair, who this? Anyway, <laughs> guys, I'm doing a DIY of some kitchen backsplash and I wanna thank Tic Tac Tiles for partnering with me um, in this kitchen backsplash refresh. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, for those of you who have been tuning in to Life on Greenwood, New Jersey edition, you know that I've been um, trying to do a few things around the house. And the first thing I decided to do was the kitchen backsplash. So I'm really, really thankful for uh, Tic Tac Tiles for partnering with me in um, doing this kitchen backsplash. And I'm finally answering the question, which backsplash tile did I decide to choose or which backsplash tile did I go with? Because I asked you guys to uh, give me your opinion of the five samples that Tic Tac Tiles sent to me. And this is the one I chose. I don't know if you guys went along with this one, but this is called Metallic Marble White. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. Well, let me tell you how it, what happened. Um, I didn't do it in a day. I did it over a period of days because I had to stop and sleep. Um, but anyway, um, we have to live in the kitchen. So, um, But I think it's a job that you could probably do in a day. Um, let me show you the, top, the, the tools that we used. All right, the tools that we used are here. I'll, I'll, I'll put them somewhere here. And um, I think overall the job was pretty easy. My only concern was um, my strength. I found that I didn't have any strength. <laughs> I thought I was stronger than I, than I, than I am, but it, it, you know, I saw some videos where people were cutting these tiles with scissors. Well, this particular uh, tile is like, um, it felt like it was heavy cardboard or something, but so it wasn't the vinyl, um, subway tiles that you guys uh, chose before or you t told me to, to choose. Um, it wasn't a vinyl tile. This really uh, was a heavier material that I was working with, which is why I really liked it, um, that it was a heavier material. And I used, ended up using a utility knife to cut it. The scissors were not working for me. My son came along and he was able to cut it, you know, each tile with, a, with the scissors, but that didn't work for me. I just didn't have the strength. So I used... Um, I used a utility knife to score it and then I went back and it easily just broke right off. So that's, that's how I did it. But, um, going on was really, really easy. I love the ease of the application. <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack Just no worries whatsoever I mean, really, this was It was so easy to do I did I did it myself. That's why it took me a while because I, I stopped and um, I had to cut around the uh, outlet covers. That has got to be <laughs> the hardest part for me was cutting around the outlet covers. Sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need, what you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious in panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness
tile went on, you know, one sheet after the other. And now I have a really, really nice kitchen backsplash. Um, I really can't wait to get new outlet covers to put on. And I, I think I'm going to get some something that um, that goes a little bit more with the tile that we have. Because what I currently have is like a, maybe like an off-white. But, um, so we have to, the, the only thing I need to do in the kitchen now is to uh, pull the outlets forward and replace the covers. But I want to thank Tic Tac Tile for, um, Tic Tac Tiles for partnering with me. I'm ever so grateful. And I want to thank all of you who came along with me, uh, helped me choose the tile backsplash. I absolutely love this and um, can't wait to get in and do a um, paint the kitchen uh, cabinets. Uh, still waiting to do that. That's, that's what's next. We're going to paint the kitchen cabinets. But thank you again, Tic Tac Tiles, for this opportunity. I appreciate it. And hey, guys, if you're new here, I'm usually on Life on Greenwood. I'm in Connecticut and usually doing thrifting and DIYs and talking about lifestyle. And you can go over on my blog at lifeongreenwood.com and see some of the things that I talk about at lifeongreenwood.com that I usually talk about on YouTube. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, join the fam. And for my returning friends, thank you so, so, so much. Leave me some comments below if you were thinking I was going to go with the marble white uh, metallic marble white tiles hmm what do you think what do you think and would you try would you try a peel and stick tile for um a backsplash in your kitchen or a bathroom or anything like that i'm definitely giving this a thumbs up definitely a thumbs up hey. but anyway thank you guys and i will see you all in the next one <laughs>